Welcome to the lab setup video for my Applied Network Forensics. This is an introductory course to network forensics. And again, the purpose of this video is to do the lab setup guide. So what I've done is I have a Windows 10 VM and I have Chrome, Adobe Reader, and Microsoft Office 365 installed, nothing else. So open up Chrome. I'm pulling all of the files that I need off of GitHub. So github.com forward slash artsalman forward slash applied network forensics. And we're going to pull these four files. We're going to pull the evidence file.zip, the setup file.zip, and the test file.zip. Those are going to be the files we're working with. And we have a lab setup guide as well. I'm going to go ahead and open that. Again, I have Chrome installed, I have a, a PDF reader installed, and I have Microsoft Office, specifically Word installed. We're going to be installing the other tools that are included in the setup.zip. So I'm going to go ahead and get those downloaded. Download. Download. Yeah, the setup is going to be one of the larger ones just because there are all the files necessary so that we have all the same versions and whatnot. Halfway done. I'm going to go ahead and open them. Fifty, sixteen. All right, so all of them should be there. So I'm just going to go ahead and copy them to my desktop. And I'm going to go ahead and extract all of them. Set up extract. While that's doing that, I'm actually going to extract all of them. So I don't need my zips anymore. So setup is going to be the first one we go through. Again, you're going to notice notepad 010 editor hash calc network miner and wireshark. All of them are here. So I'm going to start with notepad. These are the basic 32-bit versions of the software. Nothing special about them. I'm doing the defaults, except I am saying leave a shortcut on the desktop. Sure, I will open up Notepad for the first time. Close it, and we're done with Notepad. Next, our 010 editor. 32 bits fine, you could do 64, it really doesn't matter. We're not doing anything large with this, so a 32-bit for our purposes should be fine. Create a desktop icon, perfect. So 010 is going to be a little uh, more complicated than most of the tools. It's an evaluation, and it gives us 30 days. Realistically, I'll use it for 30 days and then I will uninstall it and reinstall it for our training course. If I'm using this in a professional setting, I would have the license. I don't want this to pop up every time, so I'm making sure that dialog is not checked and I'm closing it. And this is our 010 editor. Make sure it's on the shortcuts on the desktop and it is. Next, I'm doing hash calc. And again, I'm just doing basic installs of the different tools. Don't care about the readme. I want to launch it, and there is hash calc. So there's three of the five tools. 
I'm going to do Network Miner last. I will do Wireshark next. I'm installing Wireshark version 3.2.7, the 32-bit uh, version. Again, I'm making sure that I got a uh, shortcut on my desktop. I'm not installing the uh, USB version of ECAP because I don't need that for what we're doing in this course. So again, basic default uh, installation, except with making sure that I have the desktop uh, icons checked. All right, Wireshark's almost done. I'm gonna open up Wireshark and make sure it opens and it found my adapter, so I'm good. That's it for Wireshark. Next is Network Miner, this is a little harder one. Network Miner, you'll notice, is a folder, and we have a application. There isn't an installer for Network Miner. It is you're just running the executable. So what I'm gonna do with Network Miner is I'm gonna put it on my desktop, and I'm gonna create a shortcut of the exe to my desktop. And I'm gonna just go ahead and hide the folder. So that I don't see it. So I have done all of those five tools. I have those already installed. I'm gonna do these shortcuts last. So new shortcut virus total. virus total, and I'm going to do a base64 encoder, and I can delete my setup files, I'm done with those. My test files and other options I need to keep, so I will keep them. Notepad 00 or 010 editor Wireshark Ashcow and all of them have been shown to work. Network miner. I don't want it to say uh, shortcut. Alright, and I got my two shortcuts. I'm gonna open them up to make sure that they work, and they do. So that is all we need for our basic setup for our lab environment. I'm gonna be going through separate videos for each of the tools and some basic analysis, but this gives you a basic understanding of how to do the lab setup with Windows 10. Thank you.